Okay, um, so my name is Andreas. I am a human being. I'm living on this planet. Therefore, I am in trouble. And the reason for that is that by 2050, the population of the world will have grown to 9.7 billion people. That will require a huge increase in the amount of food that is produced. And we have to do this in a sustainable way. By 2050, we will have used twice over in one year the amount of renewable resources that we have on the planet Earth. And also, we will have a huge growth in the amount of money that is spent in order to take care of people that are suffering from lifestyle diseases. So these are diseases that they're not heritable, they're diseases that stems from how we live our lives, what we eat, the sorts of activities that we do, etc. And fortunately, there is hope. So in order to tackle all these demands, as we've heard earlier on today, we have to look towards the oceans. The Earth is covered by oceans. 70% of the Earth is covered by oceans. Only 2% of food consumption comes from the oceans today. We have to change that if we are going to meet the demands of the population in the future. And only 0.5% of FDA-approved drugs reside from ingredients uh, in the marine environment. And this is a problem and it's an opportunity. And this is where Acker Biomarine comes in. So Acker Biomarine, they marry the Acker Group's uh, great traditions in fisheries and also in engineering, science and biotech to create a new industry that are trying to address some of the main human health concerns in the future. And what we do is that we harvest this little guy, that's a krill, and we harvest him in, the, uh, in Antarctica. Um, why krill? Krill is a small crustacean, but it's very powerful. So krill contains some very important ingredients for humans and other life. For example, it's chock full of proteins, and it's also containing some very important fatty acids called omega-3s. This applications for this product is both in the aquaculture. Aquaculture will be central in meeting the protein demands of society in the future, and also in terms of omega-3s for the human market in order to combat some of the main lifestyle disorders that we will be seeing in times to come. So what's up with this omega-3 fatty acids? So omega-3s, this is a study from, uh, from last year showing omega-3 levels in the populations around the world. So only in the light blue areas, you have levels that are what we call healthy. So Norway is doing pretty well, but in large parts of the world, you have very low levels of omega-3s in the population. And why is this important? Well, omega-3s are one of the most research pharmaceutical components out there. And there's more than 9,000 papers published on the health benefits of omega-3s. In fact, a recent study has shown that for every single dollar spent on omega-3 supplementation in adults above the age of 50 years, there will be $2.3 saved by, in terms of health costs to the society. So I will give you a small case study of the importance of omega-3s. So this is a brain. Well, it's not really a brain, but it shows the development of the brain throughout the lifespan. So this is some research that I did while I was still a neuroscientist. And it shows that throughout life, there is a change in the way the brain is changing constantly throughout life, and especially after the age of 60. So if we pair that with the knowledge that by 2050, the number of people above 60 years of age will double, then we have a case. So here you can see 
For each of the lines here, that's one individual person. These are Norwegians, healthy Norwegians, that have been scanned in an MRI scanner, and then you measure the thickness of their cortex, in this case, in an area that is really important for memory and cognitive functions. This is the temporal cortex. So you can see that people, they change, some go down, some go up. So what's up with this, this individual dif uh, these individual differences in how the brain changes? Well, it could be due to lots of factors. It could be, for example, education. Some people of high socioeconomic status tend to have more resiliency towards these changes. But even if we hold all those factors constant, we have a very interesting finding. And that is that higher levels of an omega-3 fatty acid called DHA, which krill is extremely abundant in, is associated with a reduction in the a deceleration in the changes that occur in these memory sensitive areas so this is like this is um, a very important finding in the sense that if we have an aging population and an expanding population then we would want people to be productive for longer so not in terms necessarily of, of trying to cure uh, dementia or anything like that, but just trying to keep up functioning for a little bit longer, that could have huge benefits to society. So this is just one example of the importance of actually uh, looking towards the ocean to find ingredients that will actually benefit society on a more macro level. <clears throat> and in Acker Biomarine, how do we go about doing this? So, if you think about the krill fishery, it's fairly new, like the modern sense of the krill fishery is fairly new. Um, and in order to develop this business, it, it takes huge upfront investments, and it's going to be a very long ride in order to make this a profitable business. And so from the very onset, we were thinking that we have to think sustainably, especially because we're fishing krill, in Antarctica. This is a very fragile ecosystem. So it's extremely important that everything is done right. One mistake, and this whole business is out. So for us, it was extremely important to develop early ties with, for example, WWF, and get guidance on how to do this in a sustainable and transparent way. So the way that we're operating now, we have constant observers on board our ships, we've developed technology to minimize or just completely abolish bycatch, etc. So we have made a lot of measures and we're investing in independent research in the Antarctic. And this is not only as like uh, trying to be perceived as someone who's doing good, we're actually thinking that this is crucial for us to be able to operate this business. So for us, sustainability, both in terms of population health, but also in terms of how we take care of the environment, is a central piece of our business. So everything we do is core, the core of everything we do is the UN Sustainability Goals. And this is an opportunity for us both to grow our business, but also to do good for the planet that we live on. So that's Acker Biomarine. Thank you.